let's get shit done. Let's go. I don't think you're ready to see my messy ass kitchen. Yep. Yup. day is it today like genuinely what day is it i think it's like it's the 29th i'm gonna be cleaning the house today and i have never done a video like this ever bitch have i have i ever done a cleaning with me video no right like ever like it's not me and y'all are about to see how really really messy this house is right now because a lot of times I feel like I'm very open with you guys on the podcast about like, you know, how the house can get flipped upside down so easily. It's not just me, Ro, and Mia living here. My siblings also live here. My parents live here as well. My parents are actually in Mexico right now. They're not here. It's like eight of us living here. Eight of us constantly here. Eight of us using the kitchen. I want to show you guys just like the reality of how crazy a house can flip, flip upside down in literally days. It's just constant chaos in this house and it is a lot to keep up with. I don't know if you guys would like this, I don't know if you guys are interested in it, but I like watching videos like that. They actually motivate me to clean and pick up. I love watching like cleaning TikToks and also videos. So hopefully y'all will like it. But anyways, y'all, before we get into the cleaning, I wanna jump back real quick to another day and thank today's sponsor. Let's go. Before we get into today's vlog, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Noom. So thank you so much, Noom, for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I did get weight loss surgery. It's crazy because it has already been three months now, like three and a half months, which is crazy. I feel like after the second month, it just kind of flew by. Obviously, the first month for me was the hardest because I was being reintroduced back into foods. The first couple weeks, I was on liquids and now that I'm like fully eating literally everything because I have been cleared for all foods I got my sleep surgery and now it's also on me to be on track and make right conscious decisions that are gonna keep me on track I had actually seen a lot of testimonies in general of people that use Noom and that have had really successful stories and I wanted to use this to start tracking the food that I'm eating I wanted to track my protein and just track everything in general and seeing so many testimonies on this alone not just the physical weight loss but also psychologically is what really drew me to this and of course with getting my sleeve i'm going to lose weight because you know they literally take a portion of your stomach out like it is literally a weight loss surgery no matter what you do like it has to change up here it's a mental thing where you have to learn a new relationship with food and this is something that doctors literally tell you as you do the surgery. Noom actually helps you learn how your mind works and the why behind the decisions that you make. That in fact, learning to not diet is what's gonna give you the real long lasting results. Even having my sleeve surgery and speaking to like my own doctors, that is actually something that they brought up a lot to me. My own doctors have never told me you could not ever eat a carb again. They actually encouraged me like, you know, get your protein in, get your little bit of carbs. Now that I'm trying all types of different foods, yeah, I do notice myself. I'm like, oh my gosh, just cutting down on portions. I'm still able to enjoy foods that I love as well. And it sounds silly. It sounds so silly because you're thinking, Karina, you had the sleeve. 1,000%, 1,000%, I, I know, I know. What I'm saying is I'm learning now. I am able to try different things and not worry so much if a cookie is gonna be detrimental to my weight loss, you know what I mean? From here on now, everything else with my relationship with food is up here. And that's something that I've learned along the way because the physical part, you know, they cut a portion of my stomach out. Now it's up here to learn a new relationship with food and maintain that in the long run. But also helping me create healthy habits. It's crazy because I started Noom originally to keep track of my protein and just keep track of everything that I'm eating. I'm just learning a lot along my journey past the physical. And I'm just glad to have something like Noom where I could keep everything on track and just help me stay motivated. I love how it helps break the behavior chains. You know, a place where there's human coaches, psychology, and science to empower people to take control of their own health. Because a weight loss journey is so much more beyond the food 
the physical it's a psychological thing and i'm learning that a lot with that being said i recommend noom to all of you guys click on the link below or go to noom.com slash creative vlogs to take your free noom evaluation thanks again to noom for sponsoring this video now let's get on to the rest of this vlog and we're back okay y'all let's get to cleaning i'm honestly embarrassed but i'm like you know what this is a cleaning video it's very much needed the cleaning is very very much needed let me show you guys the entrance i feel like the entrance of the house like no matter how messy the house gets this never gets like that messy because nobody uses like this area the bathroom is it just needs like some tidying up real quick it's not even messy like that it just has random shit i don't know what the hell happened here but this broke off of here and it's like all bent and stuff also i've definitely been wanting to remodel my restroom the rest of the house used to be this color and like you know we did i was gonna say we dyed it <laughs> we painted it white she's cute and all but it's definitely not my vibe and i'm actually thinking of remodeling really really soon also it's pretty cloudy outside like super 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 cloudy so it looks a little dark in here this is the entryway it doesn't really get that messy but as you can see like i have accumulated like some mess over here someone's backpacks on the floor like why is that backpack there i don't even know like what is all that random stuff accumulated in that corner you know what i mean why is that table like that like it shouldn't even be like that like what why are these couches placed so awkwardly i'm putting this tree away i'll tell you that dining room oh my gosh you guys this area I can't do it. Like, what is the reason? Why is there pictures of us here? I didn't intentionally put this here. It's just that, like, I put them here when I didn't know where else to put them. And now I'm like, why the heck? I just want to say, first of all, this ain't even my style, girl. This right here, this is my mom. I have been wanting to redo this dining room so, so badly. And I can't wait to finally do it in the next coming weeks. My mom is definitely over this, like, uh, vibe as well. It's just that, like, my mom, you know, she always wanted, like, her wooden table with her chairs. So I'm like, um... <laughs> It's definitely not my vibe, girl. And if it's your vibe, that's okay too. That's okay. But yeah, y'all, a mess. We'll pick her up and just tidy up in here. Right behind us, the bar area. Girl, what is going on? Like the most random shit ever. It's crazy. This house was spotless days ago. I am aware that posting the reality of the shit can get me like some judging. It could very much get a lot of people judging me. Like what the? Karina, girl what is going on with your house but i just want to be real with y'all like real with y'all because what the f is actually happening but it's okay we are cleaning girl we are cleaning over here the same bar i was just showing you like what is all this shit are you ready for what i'm about to show you i don't think you're ready to see my messy ass kitchen hi welcome to my house yep Yup, you see that right girl you see that no counter space to even sit down and have breakfast girl nothing this i will say a lot of it is from the pantry y'all i know a house could get messy but this right here is really all the pantry shit that we've been taking out because we're cleaning the pantry out the baskets and all I've been cleaning out my pantry and I'm trying to organize her so I'll show you guys more of me organizing her right now this living room is looking insane too um she's looking crazy because mia has her toys everywhere you're gonna pick your toys up or what gorge i need to throw all the the cobijas because we have like cobijas the blankets that go on the couch that way it doesn't get too messy when you throw that in the wash all of mia's gifts this i actually had it here because i was editing the other day still here cochinero guys like what the f girl like what's happening so yeah and honestly i will blame it all on this one <laughs> i'm just kidding no honestly though what is this doing here i think she took that out of the pantry i'm leaving this tree up i just want to say that listen christmas is over i know it is i'm aware that christmas is over but that tree's staying up girl i'm taking the other tree down i want to take the other one down roll because it threw off the whole living room oh, there's like a disaster okay we're gonna start in the bathroom and i'm actually gonna set an alarm because honestly y'all like i hate self-diagnosing but dead ass if there's one thing that i really do feel confident about like almost for sure i think i might have adhd like dead ass Ugh, i'm cringing because i know it's like to hear like people self-diagnose but because my sister and i have talked about it on the podcast but like dead ass you guys when it comes to tasks, like I cannot concentrate and it's like an actual thing that I've noticed. 
and it drives me crazy how I cannot like concentrate like I'll start cleaning one thing for example like the kitchen I could start cleaning the countertop and then I'm like I'm gonna reorganize the pantry so then I go in there and then I get that started I start taking everything out and then I walk out and then I'll see the sink so that I get to the sink and then I I can't like just concentrate and get one task done at a time so a big tip that really works is setting a timer on my phone and giving myself that time to clean that one space and area that I'm working with I'll put on a podcast and then I just go get it done and even then I still feel like sometimes like I'll get distracted but that timer having that timer I feel like I'm putting like a deadline to it and I'm like I cannot leave this room until I get this done in the next hour or whatever you know so I'm gonna give myself I'm gonna give myself 30 minutes to clean this room this bathroom because it's not even that bad putting 30 minutes on the clock and then I'm gonna put a quick little podcast on and get going restroom is all done that took about 40 minutes honestly because i started getting into the cabinets and all but it's all done this was pretty easy to clean now on to this side okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tackle over there where Raul just took the tree down over there so i'm gonna go clean up over there and then i'll come back to over here like clean the staircase etc like this is not too messy we're gonna tackle this area so that i could like put the couches back together Alrighty, this area is now done. This is the one where you walk in and this is the first living room that you see. This one is done. I'm so glad about this one. We took down the tree, which feels so good. I put the mirror back and we just tidied up. That is all done. The floors smell amazing. My little brother actually helped me sweep and mop down here. Luckily, you guys, my little brother actually helped me clean that side of the house and i'm actually gonna go ahead and get up here because these things get so dusty with all the hair that the dogs leave by like it gets so hairy like you can see in these corners it collects so much hair and dust so i'm gonna get up in these stairs and dust away all right let's get shit done let's go good to get these tasks done like it feels amazing so this whole area is now clean it smells so good it smells fresh now tackling 
the other side y'all i'm not even gonna lie like i think this is honestly gonna take all day because there's still so much to clean so it's gonna be an all-day thing for sure and surprisingly i'm not not that tired y'all i'm telling you i feel like i just have more energy lately like the motivation to actually get stuff done nowadays girl i really do think it has to do with the weight loss like after doing just even like these two rooms that would have exhausted me even just a few months ago i don't know like it's gonna be an all-day thing and i'm kind of okay about it i'm like it is what it is like we're getting it done i'm motivated I got the energy and I'm like, all right, let's get on to the next room, girl. Last night when I started taking shit out of that pantry, girl, when I tell you, I almost cried. We got back from Costco yesterday and I was like, you know what? New Year's coming up. We need to start cleaning this bitch, you know, because it was getting messy. It was nowhere like this, by the way, like nowhere near like this. Because I'm telling y'all, we have clean like three days ago, like spotless. But if you know, you know, you have to be picking up every single day. Like, you gotta clean every day to upkeep a, a clean house, obviously. And especially with so many of us here. Sometimes one person will forget to do their dishes or will, like, take out, make a peanut butter sandwich, and then they leave everything out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all. Um, Jasmine helps me a lot, I will say. My little sister Jasmine helps me so much with cleaning around the house. My mom, oh my god. My mom is incredible. My mom literally, like that woman does so much here like she'll be cleaning all the time and like i'm so grateful for that yesterday when i got home i was like we need to start uh we need to pick up again like let's clean but then my mind was like i walked into the pantry and i was like this pantry is looking crazy like i really want to organize the pantry and me organizing the pantry i don't know if it was a good idea or not because now my house looks 10 times more messy than it was yesterday because of the pantry stuff and then also like these cabinets like i started like throwing out a bunch of shit it was time for that cleanse like for that kitchen cleanse where you just go through all your cabinets and your pantry and just get everything out you don't need okay so pantry i was actually organizing last night i started last night i just really need to tidy up in here and finish up because this shit took forever and i started last night just taking everything out and now i'm actually trying to organize i'm about 70 percent or so finished organizing uh this one's already kind of done listen i try to you know i try to keep it cute and stuff but the aesthetic cannot be there when you actually got food in your pantry girl like sometimes i see these pantry videos and i'm like it looks so aesthetically cute but there's like three pieces only and i'm like where is your food what are you eating and raul was actually starting to clean the the play area we are both taking on this house my little sister jasmine is actually at myra's house getting her nails done today i was really close to getting my nails done today too but i was like no i really want to focus on this house my little brother is somewhere upstairs playing video games and who am i kidding girl who am i kidding if i have him down here and help me clean i'm just gonna stress out like just being honest why am i gonna put myself through more stress telling him how to clean right because that's one of my biggest aches about being mexican my brothers were not really put to clean much in the house growing up not every mexican household but like it's a thing that he will talk about you know where the brothers are like not put to do many chores i try to change that now like with my siblings and my brothers i'm like nah y'all get your asses out here and help clean i'm more like that now my mom agrees now like she's more like yeah yeah have them have them do shit too you know i will tell them to like help and stuff like my other brother like he helped me with the other side of the house sometimes i will have my little brother come out and i'm like you're gonna help jasmine with the dishes like or you're gonna help her sweep or whatever the heck and he'll try but i'm like oh my god i could tell you never freaking picked up a broom you know what i mean and i'm like oh. like i love my siblings girl it's not his fault he wasn't raised to be doing chores around the house but i'm like y'all we gotta break these chains we gotta break these chains girl because i remember growing up me and myra would be like freaking sweeping mopping doing dishes if i have sons one day i'm definitely gonna be like hey you're gonna pick up just as much as mia is you're both gonna have chores you know all of you i got these on amazon they're rice and bean dispensers well they could be whatever you want them to be people also use them for cereal i have some for cereal over here but i don't like them for the cereal honestly i feel like it's just too much stress to get them out of here so for the cereal like i still have some cereal in them but the rest of my cereals are in these but i do have some up there
right, the pantry's finally done, yeah. Yeah. What, the, what? What was that, girl? What was that? What was that? Uh, I met y'all. She's all ready. And you know what? After really going through all my pantry, I realized, like, how much shit was actually, like, expired. Or not even just expired. Stuff that I was, like what like really random things certain things that i'm like we're never gonna use this you know this is your sign to just throw out everything and well, not throw everything out but you know declutter girl looks pretty organized at least this is the most organized it's gonna get in my pantry honestly but i got all my spices over here um all of my seasonings like the bigger seasonings i put them over here on this side like the giant ass consomme container anybody else Anybody else get the giant one? Because, like, the normal one is too small. These are Lazy Susans that I got on Amazon. And they're double stacked. And it holds a lot of the seasonings that we have. Like, we have a lot of seasonings, I feel. And it holds everything. Like, two of them hold everything. And it's good to have because if you're looking for something, instead of scrambling, like, you could just kind of, like, okay, you know. So, I love these so much. I've had them for a while now. And then over here, I just got some baskets with all of the, like... This basket has just, like, a bunch of different chiles and, like, different things that my mom has in here. All the chiles, I put them in here. Like, all her her spices and stuff like that, you know? Like, all the things that come in these baggies that you get at the Mexican grocery stores. I put all this stuff, like, the Baileys and all, I put them on here in this basket. For some reason, I found, like, 300,000 bags of tostadas. So definitely don't need to buy tostadas for uh, the pozole for New Year's Eve. <laughs> I gotta tell my suegra because she's making the pozole and be like, girl, do not buy any tostadas because I have 300,000 in my pantry. All the breakfast stuff right here, protein, um, rice and beans. Um, I got some cereal up there. Got some pastries here, up here, like... We have an Ecuador up here, and then all like this other stuff, a saran wrap. I have all my cans over here. I got like baking stuff in here, uh, bars and stuff like that in here, chips in here, other things in here. Um, anything like coffee, chocolate, abuelita, stuff like that in here. Got some pica pica here. I love, love, love when I reorganize my pantry. It's very rare when I fully go in here and declutter, but when I do, it feels so good because you just walk in and it just feels like, you know, everything is out. You see everything, everything's in sight. I reorganized these as well. Tried to organize here too, peanut butters and all. Organized all my vitamins over here, girl. I put vitamins, the medicine, vitamins, and just different stuff that we have over here. Okay, we're in the kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen does not look as crazy because once we finished the pantry, just finishing up the pantry cleared so much of the actual island off. So now it's still messy, but this is what's going on right now compared to what I showed you guys before. Baskets are all clean. I'm gonna put them in the pantry right now too. But we just gotta tackle these countertops once and for all. The bar is clean. Raul got in here, y'all. Raul got in here and picked up. Table's clean. What is this? Oh. <laughs> well, this is that one thing I use to carry Mia around. It's like the best thing ever. It's called a Tush Baby, y'all. 
but table's clean. Also, the dining room is clean. We moved the pictures out of the way finally. Y'all, I really can't wait to redo this room and to show you guys like the giant difference because this room, like just imagine y'all, like I wanna put uh, like mirrors right here. I got inspo off of TikTok and I know Myra did it to her dining room recently. It opens up the room. I'm gonna really try to work on this dining room, honestly, in the next coming weeks. Seeing the house clean in general, guys, it just brings a different kind of peace, girl. It really just brings peace seeing a clean home, truly, because the, the mess, it was giving me anxiety. Okay, guys, the kitchen is finally done. Oh my God, y'all, it really felt like we were not gonna finish, but everything's finally done. The counters are finally clean. This, I always leave it out, like, for cooking and stuff. Everything is clean now. Counters are shiny. This right here is what gives me some peace, girl. The coffee station, I picked it up as well. Also, we finally got the living room done as well. I try not to put too much on the coffee table because Mia will always like knock everything over anyway, so I just have a little basket to hold the remote, a little candle, Papa should co to be exact. I got the couches. I really should get rid of my Christmas pillows, but because I got the tree still, I'm gonna leave them up for the next week. So all my Christmas decor, We'll stay up for the next week, y'all. Sorry to disappoint some of y'all. <sighs> Guys, it feels so good to be done. So good to be done, y'all. I hope this encourages some of you guys or motivates you guys to clean for the new year, girl. Let's enter the new year with a clean house. That felt really good to declutter. Literally decluttering your home is like decluttering your mind. And these last few days, like after Christmas, like everything was just like, crazy out here please don't judge me y'all my house was a disaster i just want to show y'all like the reality because you know it just got crazy girl but i mean she's clean now feels really good and i'll be taking my my christmas decor down in the next couple weeks so thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in the next one bye happy new year